Hello Doctor Who friends, welcome back to some more Doctor Who. Today we're watching Journey to the Center of the TARDIS. Oh, interesting. Well, that should be fun. Took me 20 minutes to be able to even load up this episode so I can watch it. Van Balen Bros. Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. And another sir. And another sir. <laughs> I'm assuming these poor people are going to get very messed up. Are they people? I think they might be androids. Or cyborgs of some sort. Or augmented humans. Rusty garbage. Wasting our time. There's no salvage this far out. You're a lucky oh, boy, Tricky. Okay. You're an android. He's the android. Get bored. Okay. He won't the others that. are not. He's not captain, but equal partners. Right. What is he drink? If he's an android, why, wait, what is he drinking and why? I said it was looking at you funny. I was tired, overwrought. I didn't mean it. It's an appliance. It does a job. It's pretty cool appliance. We're not talking cheese grater here. You're not getting me to talk to your ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you should definitely well, talk to the ship. I'll go out with a girl unless his mother approves. It's important to me you get... Shut it down to basic mode for you. Basic? It's good salvage. Where's my subtitles? Rock music plays. Great. Move yourself. What mess? What the hell is his problem? No need to get pissy. What have I done? Uh, you probably fucked something up. A lot. But I can't get the shields back up. Uh oh. Uh, she's completely vulnerable. I swear, I just touched it. Um. I don't know what a magnetic hubble field even means. Please tell me that's a button you can press to fix this. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sad for you. Okay, is that a bomb? That looks like a nuke. Oh. Some kind of escape pod. Come on. Yes. Completely. Just a normal escape pod. Nothing sus. Crack it open. Yeah. Good, uh, good luck. Oh no, they're actually going to be able to because the shields <laughs> are down. <laughs> What the hell? Doing nothing. Maybe, maybe not. I'm blasting. No, a thermal no, no, charge? It's like, she's lying. She's, she's soft. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's robot brand. No, Gregory's right. Looks like there's a broken fuel line. All right, all right, put it back. No salvage today, boys. Open the bay doors. Wait. Put it back? What do you mean, put it back? You're just going to, like, toss it back out into space or something? Somebody's under that thing. We did nothing. If anyone asks, right, the ship was already busted. You got that? Uh-huh, sure. Make sure you keep your oily mouth shut. Right? It's rude. Right whisper. Hi. Hi. I'm yeah. the doctor. And you are uh, Van Balen and Van Balen. Van Balen and Van Balen. I get confusing later. We found you drifting. What broke my ship was a magno grab. I found this remote in your pocket. Hey, what are the chances? Outlawed in most galaxies, this uh -oh. little beastie oh, that's can not disable very good. whole vessels unless you have shield oscillators. Uh -oh. Which I turned off so Clara could fly. Well, now you will learn to never turn this off again. Clara. Is she not still inside the ship? No, wait. Your pod is leaking fuel. If she's still in there, she's dead. False. Oh, respirators. We can open the doors for a split second, reach in and grab her. Trust me, we can't now. Please, help me get her out. I'm telling you, she flies. Shut it. Tin mouth. <laughs> what sort of fee are we talking? Uh, if you nothing. help me get her out, you get the machine or the scrap. Hey. Not worth the risk. Four feet of metal. What if I can guarantee you the best haul you've ever had? Ram, open the bay doors. No, no, please stop. Listen, right behind those doors is the salvage of a lifetime. What the frick even happened? How, how did Doctor? he get off board? And I'm wondering if, if uh, by the end of this episode, the TARDIS is going to like Clara, because she's probably going to be helping to uh, fix it. Make her better. Owie. Red flashing light means something bad. Get out of here Probably. Fast. Whatever you do, don't open this door. <laughs> Well, she's gonna open the door. Her curiosity killed a cat. Bad decision. Look! I don't know how you even had time to say bad decision. What the? Hey, are we really gonna risk it? That thing is spewing poison. Should blow it back into space. Get your gear. Hey. I don't take orders from my kid brother. Don't try and form sentences, all right? Stick to what you do best. <laughs> well, they, these two have an interesting relationship. When does an android need a blast suit and a respirator? Flesh coating. Same as us, it'd burn up. Okay. No fear, no hate, no pain. 
well, if you say so. Salvage of a lifetime. I feel pretty confident I can deliver on that. Here we go! I don't get it. I think she was lying on her side. Paris is special. She has her own gravity. I'd explain if I had some charts and a board pen. It's bigger. On the inside. You know, I get that a lot. <laughs> Whoa. Awesome. Well put. Very nice. Okay, so there we go. Three. The last thing I remember, you were right here. How big is this baby? Yes. It's the biggest ship you've ever seen. Are you picturing it? Yeah. Good. Now forget it, because this ship is infinite. Uh-huh. Take you hours to find the girl. Days, plus this whole place is toxic. She'd be dead by the time I reach her. So, here's the mission. Mm. We'll find her. Well then, he, he, he just roped You're these guys guy. into this. That wasn't the deal. It is now. What makes you think we'll help? Oh, well. We just activated the TARDIS self-destruct system. One hour until this ship blows. Why? Try to leave. The TARDIS is in lockdown. I'll open those doors. Well, the car is by my side. this is ridiculous. Dead. My ship, Meryl! Okay. And the girl. She's going to die if you don't help me. Don't get into a spaceship with a madman. Didn't anyone ever teach you that? He really is a madman. Okay, he is slightly persuasion. psycho. Say 30 minutes. Okay. Should die even quicker now. We all perform better under pressure. Well. Anybody want to go for 15 minutes? Oh. <laughs> this Did is a little time? bit psycho. And the doctor is Salvage extremely psycho. You meant the ship. I meant Clara. Okay. Uh-huh, nice. A little manager version of it. Gotta make it do the spin like it always does. <laughs> well, why is the doctor keeping... Like, what, uh, what is that creature and why Why is it in there and how? What's on board this thing? Horrible things. Generator, sexual geometer, beam synthesizer, orthogonal engine filters. Guys, guys, look. I think we should split out. Why? He just wants to... The TARDIS will get huffy if you mess. Keep your radio contact, all right? He, he, he wants to go and uh, Back to the find other shit. Strip it apart. Okay, all right? Yeah. Well, these guys are bitches. Why, why are they obfuscating the creature from us? Oh, hey, interesting. The telescope. A pool. Uh, huh. Whoa, it's already healed. What? Wait, what? Oh, maybe not. It was a burn. I thought it was a cut before. Now that's just showing. Infinite library, basically. I like how they, these guys are trying to strip the console apart when the self-destruct system's been activated and they literally can't even escape. Also, how did you do that? It took rows, a friggin' truck, and then some to even rip something apart in there. Report. Everything behind that door. Everything. Interesting. Give me a price tag. Incalculable. Huh? More valuable than the total sum of any currency. Living metal, bespoke engineering. Whatever machine you require, this system will build it. Hmm. No! No, no, stop! Please, don't touch it. She won't let you touch it. I can feel a TARDIS tantrum coming on. Architectural reconfiguration system. It reconstructs particles according to your needs. A machine that makes machine? Basically. Huh. What are you doing? No, 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 don't, don't! If you walk out of here with that circuit, the TARDIS will try to stop you. Now, listen, the clock is ticking. We must find Clara. What a piece of shit. Where's the door gone? This isn't happening. She he literally to told you. A basic genetic material. Torch it. I said torch it. Can't you feel it, Gregor? The ship's in torment, like it's a living thing. What's the matter, TARDIS? Scared to fight me? No. It's probably going to lead you in a very stupid place. Guy's an idiot. Oh. So that's who. Interesting. I was gonna say, how 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 much are we willing to bet that that creature is actually not something bad or evil? It just kind of seems like it is. Does it have his hand over his face? It does. It's like the hand is fused there. Interesting. It's the same. It's just the same. It's diverting us. Spinning a maze around us. We will never reach Clara in time. The same. Again. Yeah. No point in building walls. You'll just know how to smash them down. It's found other ways of controlling you. Smart bunch, Time Lords. No dress sense, dreadful hats, but smart. <laughs> Let that circuit go. He's creating a labyrinth. 
And you will never get out. It's just the sweetest thing ever. Oh, wow. These people are complete psychos. They're idiots. And excessively greedy. Wow. Where's the door gone? No! You can't do this! Ah, uh, of course, she thinks that the TARDIS is punishing her. Oh, owie. Poor you. Nice. Okay. Channel's dead. We've got to help him. Grab him, do something. Do something. It's too late. He's gone. Channel, you care more about a sucker than you do about him. You know, your concern wow. for your brother is really touching. The android is more cut up about it than you are. Now, will you two stop bickering and listen? We've got to get out of here. I can't believe he literally doesn't give a shit about his brother at all. He literally didn't care. One, one tip. Multiple life forms on board the TARDIS with his iron getting a massive signal. Where are they? Oh, you're not gonna like the answer. About two steps away. One step. We have to stay together. Come on, go. Tricky, run. Oh my God. I'm sorry. What are those things? Did it, did it fuse the guy's brother with him? With it? But then there's more. Oh, hello. You're back there. I think the TARDIS is trying to tell you it trusts you. Come on, Clara. You're a clever girl. You, sh you should know what it, what it means. The thing trusts you. Why are you doing this? Back where we started. No, it's an echo. Oh, never mind. The console room is the safest place on the ship. It can replicate itself any number of times. It's trying to protect us. Because I tried to give back the circuit. Team TARDIS. Interesting. Where did where did that go? There's more than one echo room. Oh. Hey, look, look, the TARDIS has got Clara safe. That was her. That was her there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or okay. Why, why can't we see her? It's like a light switch. Two positions flickering at super infinite speeds. We're only together for a brief second. Interesting. Okay. I can hear her. Oh no. Uh oh. She's let it in. She's let it in. What is it? What is that though? If I can just isolate her position, I could nudge the alternation, reach in, and grab her. Well, you better do it quick, Doctor, because uh, that thing is oh, yeah. close. Way too close. Come in with me. I need you to get me out of here. Ah, nice. Use the guy's machine to do what he wants. Scanning for female human. Come on, come on, come on. Unidentified no. Human. It doesn't know Lancashire. What? It doesn't know sound. Yes, it's found Clara. It's found that she is right there. Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Sorry, please, please forgive me, Clara. <laughs> Ow. So we're not doing hugging. I get that now. What do you keep in here? Uh, Why have you got zombie creatures? Good guys do not have zombie creatures. Rule one: basic storytelling. Not Rule one. Based. Well, people who aren't trying to kill it, so I don't. Yet. I mean, he's trying to kill the TARDIS and steal from it, but you know, whatever. Cancel the self-destruct. Ah, you know, I've got to tell you, I won't be needing you in my quiz team. What? There is no self-destruct. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! How'd you go in there, boys? Didn't I? I just wiggled a few. Interesting. Buttons. Yeah, the old wiggly button trick and the face. Okay. You've got to do the face. So far, or we all die. This is a little bit rude. So you're telling us we're safe? Ish. Apart from the monsters and the TARDIS reinventing the architecture every five minutes. Yeah. Guys, well. The countdowns are fake. Look, just give me At least you're not going to blow up. I only made it look as though the engine was actually exploding. But then you're going to turn it off and find out that the engine is actually about to explode. Ah. Okay, that's not good. Surprise, surprise. Okay, panic. Something you want to share with the rest of us? No. It not at all. Is we're in trouble, Clara. Proper trouble. It needs fixing or we're toast. So now would be a good time to use that big friendly button, right? Yes, yeah, sorry, I should have had one built in. Where are we going? <laughs> the center of the TARDIS. Oh, fun. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised the, the Botho man is still there. Doctor, what are they? What aren't you telling me? Trust me, some things you don't want to know. But why are you keeping them there on the we'll ship? I, I think Doctor, that's that's the bigger problem here. Did you all split Doctor? up again? Doctor! Of course he did. <sighs> they never learn. They always split up, huh? Why is it saying it something? Oh, thank God. No, it's not actually him. Say something. Clara, stop! Don't touch it. 
There's a rupture in time somewhere on board the ship, a small tear. In your room, it must have happened when the TARDIS was pulled in by the salvage vessel. The TARDIS is leaking. Leaking what? The past. Leaking time. You and me. Everything we've done, everything we've said, recent oh. history. It's not real, it's a memory. Interesting. What about this? If you give me the option, I'd say this one's real. It sure seems like it. <laughs> She's right on to us. She? Clara, don't ask me anymore. <gasps> Don't ask me anymore. What's that noise? Uh, terrible things. We're right under the primary fuel cell. So, so, so what? Well, the fuel spilled out, so the rods will be exposed. It means they'll call and... Start to walk? Walk, maybe even... No, you don't say it. Mm. Don't you dare say it. Maybe. Uh, blow up? Break apart? Break apart. Oh. Is that what that is? I'm liking how you thinking. I'll oh, cut it off. Just, just cut my arm off. No! It's the quickest way to release these. No pain. No pain. No, no pain. No pain, but yet he's in you pain. Know what? This bar, just do it. It won't hurt me. Chicky, you don't understand. I'm an android cut me. He's probably not actually an android. They probably just make him think he is. He's not actually an android. Tell me what? He's just their brother and he's got parts. You're a coward. You won't save him, but you're scared to tell him why. Robots don't need blast suits. They don't need respirators. They don't get frightened of monsters in the dark. What's he talking about? Giovanna is in a synthetic voice box. But you, my friend, are human, flesh and blood. It was a joke. Uh, a joke? It's just a stupid joke. We did it to relieve the boredom. Well, it was very funny. They lied to you, changed your identity just to provide some in flight entertainment. Sorry. These fucks. You're human, Tricky. You cunt. Cut the metal. Go. Uh, Do you lot wait here? I'll take it safe. We can only survive for a minute or two in there. What happens if we stay longer? Our cells will liquefy and our skin will start to burn. I always feel so good after we've spoken. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'm still dumbfounded by those brothers. So he is actually their brother. So he probably got, uh, I'm, I'm assuming he got injured or something. Intelligent sensor. The point of that thing is so quicker. What would it see? What sort of person does this to another human? Make them believe they're made of metal. <laughs> Who am I? You're their brother. He's their third brother. Back to my thought. I, I'm assuming he had gotten injured or something and had to have his eyes and voice box or something replaced. Why don't I remember? It was a salvage accident. Here An we explosion. go. It's explaining it now. Voice and your memory. But wait, you could have some fun with me. I just wear a brother beside me. You were always the small one, Tricky. He wanted you to take over. Made you captain. He, Dad. I don't, I don't remember him. This is excessively sad. Excessively sad. You did this to me, just to be captain of a of a heap of junk. Stop! Okay. Ask yourself why he couldn't cut you up. He has just one tiny scrap of decency left in him, and you helped him find that. Okay. Now you. They'll never forget this. The Eye of Harmony, exploding star in the act of becoming a black hole. Oh, Time that sounds great. You ripped the star from its orbit. In a permanent state of decay. Okay. Hopefully, it's not one of those living stars. Okay, never mind. Not this way. <laughs> well, I hope the doctor explains what those things are after. Eventually. I don't know if I fully agree with that. That one's probably his brother. Calculating data. No, no, turn it off! Lancashire, Sats, identifiable substance, Clara. What? That's me. I'm so sorry. What? It's a burn in here. It isn't just the past leaking out, it's the future. And I brought you here to keep you safe, but it happened again. You died again. What do you mean again? What the fuck? <gasps> Oh, that means he died too, if that's him. And then those are them. Hang on. As long as we interrupt the timeline, this can't happen. So do it. Don't touch each other, otherwise the future will reassert yeah. itself. Yeah. Try to let go of the circuit. Just let it go. Bye. That still doesn't make too much sense, because if, if they died in there, and they, they, they burn up and they die in there, then it doesn't really make too much sense that those things are walking around now. I don't really get it. Oh! 
Okay. Uh, uh, no, don't touch him, or time will reassert itself. Well, he has to save him, though. Shit. Oh. Well, that sucks. The engine room, the heart of the TARDIS. We're outside. No, we're still nope. in the TARDIS. What do we do? Do you have a plan? Well, no. No plan, sorry. If you don't have a plan, we're dead. Yeah, so just tell me. I'll tell you what. Well, there's no point now. We're about to die. Just tell me who you are. You know who I am. No, I don't. I look at you every single day and I don't understand a thing about you. Why do I keep running into you? You, you, you haven't explained to her. I met you at the Dalek Asylum. Died saving my life and she was you. She really wasn't. Victorian London, there was a governess who was really a barmaid and we fought the great intelligence together. She died and it was my fault and she was you. You're scaring me. What are you, eh? A trick? A trap? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> oh, come on. Stop. Calm down. You guys need to stop yelling at each other right now. You really don't, do you? I think I'm more scared of you right now than anything else on that TARDIS. Who does Clara? That's oh. unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know what the hell this is about, but <laughs> the hug is really nice. <laughs> yeah. A, a hug relieves stress. A hug more people. This isn't real. But not in a creepy way. Because huh? a wounded animal do it tries to scare everyone away. Snarling at us, trying to frighten us off. We need to jump. You're insane. We'll cross a portal to the engine. How can you be so sure? Well, I can't. Okay, then, well, that's watertight. Hey, no, well, it's a leap of faith. It's actually what, one of my favorite tropes years. or something one, in please. games and whatnot. Clara, I've piloted this ship for over 900 years. Trust me this one time, please. This one time. Okay. And all the other times. <laughs> okay. Well well. I, I missed what he said, so I had to go back. <laughs> leap of faith. Well, one of my favorite games, uh, Star Fox Adventures, there was a leap of faith in there and I just thought it was so cool. It's it's kind of nothing, really. They make it kind of dramatic in the game, but it's also just like super simple and, I don't know, as a kid I just thought it was really cool. She wrapped her hands around the force, froze it. So it's safe? Well, of course it's not safe. Eventually this whole place will erupt. There's no way I can save her now. That is complete BS and you absolutely can. She's just always been there for me and now it's my turn and I don't know what to do. The TARDIS has gone through much, much worse. Oh, Clara, you are beautiful, beautiful, fragile human skin. Okay. Hotch, thank you to find the moment we crashed. The music. The music? The time lift. Recent past, possible future. What are you going to do? We write today, I hope, and have thrown this through the rift before. I need to make sure this time I get in there myself. There might be a certain amount of yelling. It's going to hurt. Things that yeah. only life often do that. All those things you said, met before how I died. You'll forget. Time mends us, it can mend anything. I don't want to forget, not all of it. The library, saw it. Hmm. You were mentioned in a book. I mentioned in a lot of books. Yes. But that one was a very special you book. You call yourself Doctor. Why do you do that? You have a name, I've seen it. In one corner of that tiny... If I rewrite today, you won't remember. You won't go looking for my name. Or still have secrets. Huh. It's better that way. Hmm. Okay. You're lying. Here comes this thing now. Doctor, I from your future. We haven't got long. It's a reset time. It's a reset time. No! No! <laughs> big friendly button. Big friendly button. Oh, there's the big friendly button. Oh, fun. Funny. What? <laughs> I, I don't really fully understand, but okay. <laughs> there we go. I don't get it. It was off screen. Yeah, it was gone. Hey, Rapo, go get me some food. I'm starving. Wait, leave him alone. What's the matter with you? Maybe I've just got a little tiny scrap of decency. There. Oh. What? There's a fourth. Oh, Dad. Okay. Do they remember? We've had two days crammed into the space of one. Why would you say that? I don't because know. Because that's kind of stuff. what happened. Ignore me. I suppose. Do you feel safe? Of course. Give me a number out of ten. Ten being woohoo. One. Ah. Uh, You're being weird. Okay. I need to know if you feel safe. I need to know. You're not afraid. Oh. The future. Me. Him. Running away okay. With a spaceman in a box. That. Anything basic. Basically him. Oh, that's what I'm counting on. Push the button. Hmm. Well, now I'm honestly kind of curious if if he remembers anything that happened before. I mean, he probably does, and he's probably just 
uh, keeping more secrets. I think that was kind of a good one, though. I'm, I'm glad things went back to normal and those, uh, the, uh, those guys did not, um, actually completely die. However, it's really unfortunate that, um, they're still going to pretend that that, that Tricky is a robot. But with, with what the other brother said there, Gregor, um, maybe that'll change. I hope it does, because that's kind of shit. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for now. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye, God bless. Keep coming, Dragon.